On this channel, I'm gonna be breaking down my Fever 20 news into shorter topics, so it becomes more specific for you guys, and also, I'm gonna be uploading the best bits from my main channel as well. Now, YouTube says we have 84% of you guys watching the videos on this channel, but not subscribed, so do yourself a favor, hit the subscribe button today to catch all my extra content. We've also got confirmation that FIFA 20 will not have any licensed Brazilian leagues in the game. Konami put out a tweet that said they've got the Brazilian first division and the second division exclusive to their game. So I'm not sure if EA is going to create a fake league or something for the Brazilians, but I'm telling you, if you want to play with the Brazilian clubs or do a career mode in Brazil and stuff, you're going to have to pick up PES to get all the licensed teams and names and stuff. This year, I remember in FIFA 19, the Brazilian national team wasn't even licensed besides Neymar, which was pretty bad. Um, it's probably going to be the same sort of thing as what FIFA 19 offers at the moment. So recently, EA refreshed their website for FIFA 20, and they put out this thing about authenticity and licenses. So we're going to take a look at this whole page, see what it says, because apparently there's more stadiums included this year compared to last year, and we'll see what it says about the Bundesliga stuff as well. So first off, we have this big picture here, the World's Game, and they've included some leagues and tournaments. It's not the full list, so don't worry if there's anything missing. But you've got your standard Premier League, your La Liga, Serie A, Chinese Super League, A-League as well, MLS. I wonder if the A-League guys got scanned. Remember my story about the scan? I haven't seen anything about that anymore, but Bundesliga is there as well and some other ones around the world. FIFA 20 brings you more than 30 official leagues, 700 teams, and 17,000 authentic players. Play in any of the 90 licensed stadiums across the globe and experience exclusive access to the world's biggest competition. So 90 licensed stadiums, which is pretty good. I think last year's one was less. I think it was in the 70s. I can't remember. But if they're bringing in the Bundesliga scan, obviously that's going to total up the number as well. Only in FIFA 20. Lead your favorite club to the Champions League or Europa League glory. Experience the triumph of lifting the Premier League trophy and revel in the atmosphere of the Bundesliga and the energy of La Liga Santander only in FIFA 20. So it says... Revel in the atmosphere of the Bundesliga. So they wouldn't have included that, I think, if they didn't have all the stadiums and stuff. But anyway, play the world's most prestigious leagues, Champions League, Europa League, and Super Cup. Well, this was already in FIFA 19 anyway. Uh, authentic broadcast packages, branding, and custom commentary. I presume that's Derek Gray, Lee Dixon, but I think it's going to be the same thing as last year. Zidane, he's in the game. Create your dream squad with superstars from past and present, including Zidane in Ultimate Team. That's pretty cool, that photo. Premier League, the only place where you can experience the competition, energy, and excitement of the world's most popular league. The Premier League experience will feature all 20 clubs, all 20 stadiums, which is good, and an authentic broadcast commentary and pre-match choreography package, making it the most authentic ever representation of the league, exclusive to FIFA 20. EFL, formed in 1888 by 12 founder members, the EFL is the world's original football league competition and is the template for leagues the world over. FIFA 20 will include all 72 member clubs, so you're going to have all the licensed clubs, and 11 licensed stadiums. Now... I think this is going to be divided into the Championship, Division 1, and League 2, I think. So it's not going to be just 11 stadiums in the Championship, which means there's going to be a lot of generic stadiums for those lower leagues in England. Next up, we move on to La Liga. It says, from career mode to kickoff, Atletico to Real Madrid, from Joao Felix to Eden Hazard. Play with the biggest stars from all 20 La Liga clubs throughout every mode exclusively in FIFA 20. The impressive broadcast package complete with 360-degree replays will further immense you in every aspect of La Liga's atmosphere. So I presume there's going to be the La Liga scan, just like they did last year, and the broadcast package will be the same thing. In FIFA 20, enjoy full and exclusive Bundesliga authenticity with accurate recreations of the league's biggest names, like Royce, Kai Havertz, and Hummels. An authentic broadcast package complete with exclusive branding and immersive stadium atmospheres bring you ever closer to the action whichever team you play with. We've already lost the Bayern Munich Stadium, so that's not going to be in FIFA 20. But hopefully, when they said that they have immersive stadium atmospheres, hopefully that means they're bringing in all the licensed stadiums, or at least most of them anyway. They haven't really mentioned much with this Bundesliga scan though, so I still don't know. The Serie A is going to be licensed... From Dybala to Piatek, the San Siro to Stadio Olimpico, experience all the atmosphere and energy of Italy's top flight. All of the Serie A's biggest stars are playable in FIFA 20, bringing you the prestige and passion of the beautiful game. Well, I love how they didn't mention anything about the Piemonte cultural license. By the way, you can buy the Piemonte fan shirt with the link in the description. That is part of the Vapex merch store. Also, we lost the Eventus Stadium. They didn't mention that. And they didn't mention any inclusions of new stadiums. So... I presume that the, the licensed stadiums in the Serie A are not going to be great. League 1. From the passion of the park to Princess to the glory of Lyon's 
Group Armour Stadium. So the World Cup Stadium for the women that we had in FIFA 19, which is the Lyon home stadium, is going to be in FIFA 20. That is a guarantee now. FIFA 20 brings you the action, authenticity, and drama of France's prestigious League One conformer. With all the League One teams and fully authentic match day branding, broadcast packages, and pre-match atmosphere, FIFA 20 brings you the most realistic League One experience. So obviously the main thing to take out of this is that FIFA 19 had about 70 licensed stadiums. This year it's gone up to 90. So there's 20 stadiums that have been added this year, and I presume most of them are going to come out of the Bundesliga with a few outliers in different leagues. If you need something else to watch, make sure you click the card in the middle. It'll take you to another video of mine. I'll see you next time.